Hey everybody, welcome to part two of expressing compound inequalities in interval notation. In my first video, I showed you two examples using OR inequalities, and in this particular video, I'm going to show you two examples using AND inequalities. And the only thing that you need to remember when you see an AND compound inequality is you want to use only the shared shaded area when expressing your answer in interval notation. Once again, you want to use only the shared shaded area when expressing your answer in interval notation. Um, so let's just get started with this example. So the first thing you want to do is you want to draw a number line from negative infinity to positive infinity. And the next thing I like to do is to put my two numbers that we solve for on the line. We have 5 and 2. And remember to always put the smaller number on the left. And the first thing I want to do is I want to graph x is less than 5, okay? Because there is no equal sign underneath the less than symbol, and 5 is not included, I'm going to put an open circle around 5. And because x is less than 5, I'm going to color in everything to the left. And the next thing I want to do is graph x is greater than or equal to 2. Because there is an equal sign underneath the greater than symbol and 2 is included, I'm going to put a closed circle around 2. And because x is greater than or equal to 2, I'm going to color in everything to the right. And remember, for and compound inequalities, you want to use only the shared shaded area when writing your answer in interval notation. So the only area that is shared that is, is the area that contains the blue and the red shaded area, the area between 2 and 5. Uh, so if we write our answer in interval notation, uh, we start from the left and we start at 2. I put a bracket because 2 is included and x can actually equal 2 all the way to 5 with the parentheses around 5 because 5 is not included, x cannot equal 5. So here we have our answer in interval notation. And let's move on to one more example that's just a little bit different. So here we have x is less than or equal to negative 3, and x is greater than 6. So the first thing you want to do is write down your number line from negative infinity to positive infinity. Then what I like to do is write down my two numbers that we saw for, negative 3 and 6. Remember always to put the smaller number to the left. Now I'm going to graph x is less than or equal to negative 3. There's an equal sign underneath the less than, so x can actually equal it. I'm going to put, so that means I'm going to put a closed circle around negative 3. Because it's less than or equal to, I'm going to color in everything to the left. Now I'm going to graph x is greater than 6. Because there's no equal sign and x cannot equal 6, I'm going to put an open circle around 6. And because x is greater than 6, I'm going to color in everything to the right. And remember, for and inequalities, you want to use only the shared shaded area when writing your answer in interval notation. And notice how there is no shared, share shaded area. Uh, the blue and the red shade never touch each other, and they never share any shaded area. So for this particular problem, since there's no shaded area, the answer is just a little zero with a diagonal line going through it. It's called the empty set or the null set. And if you think about it using your common sense, it's impossible to have a number that's less than negative 3 and that's greater than 6. So that's why the answer is the empty set or there's no solution. So I hope this video helped you understand interval notation just a little bit better. If you need any extra help with live tutoring or homework solutions, please feel free to go to my website at mathmeaning.com. Once again, mathmeaning.com, and I would love to help you out. Also, too, if you like my videos and you like my style of teaching and you want to see some more, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on Twitter or like my Facebook page, uh, whatever you like better. And then you can see my videos as soon as I upload them. Uh, once again, thank you so much for watching my video and take care.